Hi, my name is Isabella Liu, and I'm in sixth grade. For this year's science fair, I studied dice. The name of my project is Fabulous Fabrics. My driving question was, what are the effects of using different types of fabric fibers on the color of dye? My prediction slash hypothesis was that the color of the dye would change, that the dye would get off faster, and that the smooth fabric would have a stronger color. My independent variable was types of fabric fibers, and my dependent variable was the color of dye. The materials I used were three plastic containers, hibiscus tea, which was my red slash pink dye, salt, rough fabric, smooth fabric, cotton balls, a spoon, some water, and a plastic bag. The steps I followed was, one, I made the dye from hibiscus tea according to extraction instructions, and then I divided the liquid into three equal parts. Then I mixed two tablespoons of salt into each container. Three, I washed the rough fabric, the smooth fabric, and the cotton balls with room temperature water and mild soap. Four, I squeezed out all of the water and put each one of the fabrics into their containers with dye and salt. Then I leave them soaking in for 5 hours in room temperature. After 5 hours had gone by, I took out the pieces of fabric and rinsed them and then washed and rinsed them in room temperature water. Here are some photos of my fabric soaking in the dye. Some things I learned was that 1. Dyeing is the application of dyes or pigments on textile materials. 2. Natural sources are dyes of dye come from many places including food, flowers, and others. 3. The mordant is a chemical link that fixes the dye to a substrate by combining with the dye pigment to form an insoluble compound. 4. Some fibers are natural, others are manufactured or totally synthetic. 5. Artificial dyes last more than natural dyes, but it is very bad for our bodies if consuming so much. Here are some photos of my results, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye!